My security, my right. To Mechoka, we're tired. These words rang loud and clear on Harambe Avenue this morning when dozens of protesters took to the streets for an internal security overhaul in Kenya. The demonstration was organized through social media after an Al-Shabaab attack on November 22nd left 28 people dead in Mandera near the Somali border. Since the start of 2014, there have been more than 10 terrorist attacks in Kenya, resulting in dozens of injuries and over 85 deaths. We want security! We want security! We want security! Uh, the protest is called, it's called Tumechoka, meaning we are tired, we want change, we are humbly asking the government to listen to us. We are fed up of the insecurity, we are fed up of the corruption, we are fed up of the politics that is not taking us anywhere. We have children, we have responsibilities, but we are unable to carry them out because of fear. We don't know, we, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. So all we want is that the government will start, if they can first start by taking care of the people in charge of security, who are Lelenko and, and Kimayo, these people need to be held accountable. They need to take responsibility. And maybe we'll see change after that. We're not saying that change will come as soon as they're removed. But we don't know. Change has to start from within. Brandishing wooden crosses, protesters demanded the immediate removal of Inspector General of Kenya Police David Kimayo and Internal Security Minister Joseph Olelenku. If the government is unable to protect Kenyans, they said, someone else will have to do the job. I think there are other suitable Kenyans who can replace them because we've got uh, security personnel who have been way for years. They have been the, they've been serving the security forces for years. So I think there are other people who can replace them because if you look at their portfolios, both Ololenku and Kimayo, Kimayo has been in serving for a while now, but his competence is something that is not there to be appreciated. For Olelenku, I think he's incompetent because even his, his portfolio shows that he's not been in the security docket for a while. The peaceful demonstration lasted less than two hours before opposing campaigners made their move. They smashed wooden crosses symbolizing the victims, saying security overhaul is not the solution. Kenyan military were present but still as protesters resumed their march towards government offices. The demonstrators have titled the movement with the hashtag Occupy Harambe Avenue and aren't going anywhere until changes are made. As of this morning, Kenyan officials have remained silent in response to the noise of the demonstration. It is unclear whether government heads will roll or if any official action will be taken at all. Elizabeth McSheffrey, Daily Nation, Nairobi.